Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we have a great mnemonic about Tenoch, Sean Lamb, Purpura, and with that said, let's get started. I had this poll on my channel, and the people have chosen coagulation disorders, and that's why we're here. Thank you for casting your vote. If you haven't already watched my previous videos in this glorious bleeding and coagulation disorders playlist, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Currently, we are talking about vascular disorders. First, let me answer the question of last video. What will you find when you biopsy the palpable purpura on the buttocks in a patient with henoxone and purpura? Do you know what will you find? Here is what will you find when you biopsy this rash. You'll find small blood vessels in the skin, and these blood vessels will have, believe it or not, IgA deposition into the blood vessels of the skin because this is a disease where the young child had IgA nephropathy. There is IgA, O2 antibodies, destroying the kid's kidney and skin. Specifically, the vessels of the kidney and the vessels of the skin. That's why it's a freaking vasculitis. And by the way, once you see that on biopsy, you have your diagnosis. Vascular disorders are divided into lipoprotein disorders, arteriosclerosis, which include atherosclerosis, aneurysm, venous system disorders, lymphatic disorders, vascular tumor and tumor-like diseases such as Kaposi sarcoma, angiosarcoma, etc. And remember, osler weber rondo which we have talked about in the previous video. Vasculitity is a vasculitic disorder, vasculitis, giant cell arthritis takayasu, pan, which is polyarthritis nodosa, not to be confused with pancakes or pancytopenia, Kawasaki Saki, Berger's disease, Renaud's phenomenon, granulomatosis with polyangiitis, Churg Strauss syndrome, and Henoxon in purpura. And don't forget the evil, nasty, son of a hypertension. Henox, Sean Lamb, purpura, mnemonic, HSP, HSP, just write it down, HSP, 1, 2, 3, HSP, arterioles, venules, capillaries. These are all the vessels that can be affected by the nasty IgA O2 antibodies. There you go. Why the H? Because the kid has hematuria. Why? Because there is IgA nephropathy, IgA O2 antibodies destroying the blood vessels in the kidney, leading to blood in the urine. Also hyperkeratinemia. Yeah, because the kidney is screwed. And when your kidney is damaged, you have increased BUN and creatinine in the blood, urea and creatinine. Cool. What else? This usually happens after an upper respiratory tract infection. Oh. So, like you illustrated the lungs, and this is an H. Oh, how cute, medicosis. HSP, one, two, three. Speaking of three, there is C3 protein deposition. So, we have IgA and C3. Don't ever forget that. It's also known as the C3 nephritic factor. Next letter, the S, small child, because this is the number one type of vasculitis in children. S for skin rash. What type of skin rash? It's maculopapular. It's a palpable purpura on the buttocks. And of course, when you biopsy it, you see the IgA antibody deposition inside the blood vessel, inside the skin, inside the rash. This is what's causing the rash. What is the treatment of this henoxone and purpura? Most cases are self-limiting. You just leave them alone and just provide supportive care. But if severe, give steroids. So severe steroids. Why should I give steroids? Because it's kind of an O2 immune antibody and steroids are immunosuppressants. They will suppress the nasty IgA antibody production. Cool. HSP123, arterioles, venules, capillaries. YP, purpura. Purpura? Yeah, there is palpable purpura on the buttocks. But people will say, oh yeah, purpura, therefore the platelet count has to be low. Oh, shut up, there is no thrombocytopenia. Platelets are not the issue. The blood vessel is the issue. Get your head out of your sphincter. Okay, and in case you were wondering what type of steroid should we use, prednisone. Purpura ends in an A. And speaking of A, we have IgA nephropathy. This happens after an upper respiratory infection, usually viral or group A strep. Also, the word viral has an A. Arthritis or arthralgia, it's non-migratory arthritis. Contrast that with what disease that had migratory arthritis? Let me know the answer in the comment section. There is adequate number of platelets, therefore there is no thrombocytopenia. You can give ACE inhibitors, they might help. And then I remember two other diseases that affect the kidney where ACE inhibitors are of enormous value. Number one, diabetic nephropathy. Number two, 
scleroderma nephrosis, scleroderma kidney. So, diabetes can damage your kidney. Give ACE inhibitors. Scleroderma can damage your kidney. Give ACE inhibitors. Hinox and freaking purpura can damage your kidney. Give ACE inhibitors. Medicine makes perfect sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. There's something else I want to mention. See this GI bleed? Whenever there is GI bleed, you can see dark stool, hashtag melana, and positive guaiac stool test. Why does the blood get darker? Because it passes through the acid of the stomach. And when the hemoglobin of the blood gets mixed with the HCL, it becomes hematin. So instead of hemoglobin, now it's called hematin. And hematin is freaking dark. And this is one of the methods to differentiate between upper GI bleed and lower GI bleed in the rectum, for instance, or the anal canal. If it's coming from the anal canal, it's going to be bright red. It has never been mixed with the stomach acid. But if it's coming from above, it has been mixed with the stomach acid and it's a dark stool. Your parents did not send you to medical school only to expect that you will be diagnosing and examining the color of the stool. I'm joking. Okay, Hinox, Shanley, and Purpura, look at this amazing picmonic. So, there you go. Hinox, Shanley, and Purpura. Hen and Shaolin monk with purple cat. So, this is Hinox, Shanley, and Purpura. Okay, it's the most common childhood vasculitis. This is the number one vasculitis, baby. It follows pharyngeal or respiratory infection. Look at this. Look at this pharaoh for pharynx. Yep, pharyngeal or respiratory infection, but it's upper, it's not the lung, it's the upper respiratory tract. Next, we have palpable purpura on legs. Look at this palpable purple on the buttocks. Arthralgia, which is joint pain. Here is King Arthur for arthralgia and algae. There is intestinal hemorrhage. Here's the intestinal hammer. Hammer, it's a red hammer because it's bleeding. Black stool or melana, yes indeed, associated with IgA nephropathy. Look at this kidney. And it's an apple to remember IgA, A for apple. Now let's practice recall, baby. Hinox, Shanley, and Purpura, there was a purple monk here. It was the number one vasculitis in children. It follows the pharaoh, which is pharyngeal or upper respiratory tract infection. Could be viral or could be group A strept. We have palpable purpura on the buttocks, the purple cat. There was arthralgia intestinal hemorrhage, melana, and IgA nephropathy. Boom! And that's how you do it. It's Picmonic, baby. Picmonic. They have hundreds and hundreds of pictures. By the way, these are not just pictures. These are videos. I just took a snapshot. And they have another Picmonic about Berger's disease, which is thromboangiitis obliterans. Please go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis. It will make your life easier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. You can get my 50 hematology cases here and my courses. And please go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash medicosis to get hundreds and hundreds of animated mnemonics for you. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Until next time, please be safe, stay happy, and study hard.